Good evening, everyone, and a very warm welcome to Professor Lakhanpal, Dr. Sangeeta Pandita, our esteemed resource persons, participants from across the country, colleagues, and dear students. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the valedictory session of the five weeks long national workshop on statistical analysis of biological data. I must confess it was a very big project and appeared to be an arduous job at the stage of initial conceptualization. We were not sure about the outcome of the project. It was with the support of our esteemed advisory board members, renowned resource persons, Principal Dr. Sangeeta Pandita and our colleagues that we have successfully been able to complete this task. Thank you all once again. Today we have our very own Professor Suman Lakhanpal, Head Department of Botany, University of Delhi, as chief guest to culminate the activities of this workshop. Thank you, Professor Suman Lakhanpal, for accepting our invitation and joining us for the valedictory session. Uh, we had planned to have uh, Dr. Pandita, our principal, with us, but some interviews are going on and uh, she could not join us, so she has expressed her regret. So um, proceeding with the event then, I invite Dr. Zishan to present the report of the workshop. Over to you, Dr. Zishan. Am I audible? Yes, you are, Dr. Zishan. Is the presentation visible? Yes, it is. Thank you, Dr. Vatal. Namaskar. I extend my gratitude to the principal, speaker, colleagues, and dear participants. I feel very grateful to present some statistics on this five week long biostatistics workshop. The workshop has aimed to train the basics of biostatistics, starting from collection of data to their presentation, analysis, and interpretation. The attention was also given to their scopes, application, and importance in the present world. The layout of the workshop has attracted the participants from different parts of the nations. We received registration from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Gujarat to Gohat. Participation came from a number of universities, institutes, and research centers. Some of the notable mentions are Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Tezpur University, University of Hyderabad, ICAR Central Institute of Fisheries Education Mumbai, IIT Bombay, Banaras Hindu University, Jamia Millia Islamia, Dr. Rajendra Prasad Central Agriculture University, Pusa Bihar, College of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, Kerala, Indian Indira Gandhi National Tribal University, Amarkanta, Central University of Haryana, Central University of Gujarat, ICR National Bureau of Agriculturally Important Microorganisms, Aligarh Muslim University, Savitri Bai Phule University, NITGR, IGNU, Jamia Hamdard, Jawaharlal Nehru University, and Delhi. Thank you for this overwhelming response. Of all these registrations, maximum registration was received from different colleges of university. The number and the number of responses from Savitri by Pule University was also overwhelming. Of the total 381 registrations for the event, more than 55 participants belong to undergraduate studies. 
Moreover, PG students, research scholar, faculty member, including associate professors and research officer has also shown keen interest for the participation. The module of the workshop was online recorded videos. Though there were four sessions which was online as well. The Monday to Friday were occupied with different lectures and the weekend were dedicated to assessments based on the week lectures. The morning around 6 a.m. in the weekdays were the time when the message of uploading videos were coming in Telegram group. The participants has full time to observe and analyze the contents in the videos. The official YouTube channels of the Department of Botany Phytozacaria and another channel, Savi's Online Classes, were the platform for sharing the materials and communication through chat box. However, most of the videos were watched at the end of the week around the corner when the assessment was given. Major credit goes to our speaker who were the backbones for their commitments on their role for online and recorded session. A latter section of the seven will highlight and acknowledge the contributions of our steep speakers. We are thankful to the participants for their active feedback in the every week's session. Most of the participants find the information relevant and identify the content as moderately difficult for all four weeks. All the past four weeks were in expectations of more than 79% of the participants. In every week, most of the participants have received score above 15 in the assessment. The average in all week was around 17 to 20 points. Also, many candidates have performed extraordinary to acquire 25 out of 25 in more than one session. I must congratulate the participants that they have spent more than 30 hours to study biostatistics, which was recorded by 17 speakers not only from the Institute of India, but also abroad. A total number of 44 lectures were uploaded, which will remain available afterwards also. Your queries and doubts are always welcome in the comment section. Now is the time for a revision on the videos for the submission of final assessment. The final assessment carries 75 marks and will include questions from all week of the lectures. In case, if any of the assessment is missed, you can watch the videos and solve the final assessment, which provides an equal opportunity to qualify for valid certification. The link of the final assessment will be shared after the validatory session, which will remain available until 24th February midnight. You may call this event as the end. However, we find that it is the beginning. It is the beginning to apply the knowledge of statistics in your work. It is the beginning to explore the options of having more advanced knowledge on statistics and beginning to think afar from your imagination what you have been so far. Words, I thank you everyone for participation in this event. Thank you. Now, I take this opportunity to introduce the chief guest of the validatory session, Professor Suman Lakhanpal. Professor Lakhanpal is a senior professor and head in Department of Botany University of Delhi. 
She has also offered her services as a senior, uh, as a scientist and senior scientist in National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources. Her area of major research interest is in plant molecular genetics, crop protection, molecular analysis of biological diversity, and multi-partner interaction. She has guided more than 12 doctoral theses and nine MPhil dissertations in the past. Many of her research projects have received grant from STEAM funding agencies such as Department of Biotechnology, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, Department of Science and Technology, National Agriculture Technology Program, World Bank, and many more. From her research work, she has published many research articles and chapters in various journals and books of international repute. She is a recipient of many awards and distinctions, such as NSTS Fellowship, which provided financial support for her entire education up to PhD. She has also secured second rank in agriculture research services in 1985. And she was also nominated as Best Teacher Award in IARI. Professor Lakhanpal is also an active member of various professional bodies such as International Societies of, Society of Plant Morphologists, Indian Society of Root Crops, Delhi University Botanical Society. She is also a founder member of societies like Indian Society of Plant Genetic Resources, Society of Plant and Society of Plant Biochemistry and Biotechnology. Professor Lakhanpal is a highly decorated scientist and educator par excellence. I now invite Professor Lakhanpal to deliver the validatory address. Thank you. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, uh, Dr. Jishan. Thanks for a very over exaggerated introduction. Uh, I would have really praised you more if you had praised me less. And this is a good one. <laughs> anyway, so uh, coming to the function today, it is always coming home for me. Uh, coming to Zakrasen College. I wish it was a physical event. Uh, starting with the deliberations of the day, Professor Sangeeta Pandita in absentia, uh, Principal Zakrasen College, most esteemed guru, Professor T.R. Rao. Sir, are you there? Hello. I think he's not logged in yet. No, no, I'm very much here. Okay, good afternoon, sir, once again. Uh, Dr. Savinder Kumar, convener of the workshop, uh, Dr. Ratnam Bhattal, co-convener, Dr. Tabassum Jahan, organizing secretary, Dr. Jishan Urrahman, co-ordinator, Dr. Ruchi Veer, other faculty members of the botany department, resource persons from various colleges of Delhi University, as well as from other institutions outside DU, and dear participants very good afternoon to everybody once again and greetings on the occasion of valedictory function of this national workshop on statistical analysis of biological data i am delighted to know about the successful completion of this wonderful event organized under the auspices of botany department of this college and i congratulate all who are involved in this activity, the participants, as well as the resource persons. The workshops are actually a great way of bringing people together to learn, to collaborate, to innovate, to interact. With exactly this spirit, I think this workshop was organized by the very enthusiastic and dynamic staff of Botany Department 
of Zagrosen College under uh, very able leadership of Dr. Ratnam Vattal and Dr. Savinder Kumar. Ratnam Vattal has, is my senior from the department and I have a lot of respect for her. Savinder is of course a student. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> And of course, I mean, I think nothing could have been better than, uh, you know, involving Professor T.R. Owen. There's nobody I know who can do a better job in this topic. Oh, other come on, than come on, come on. You are just talking about exaggerations and you are not doing <laughs> much better job. <laughs> no, it is by no means an exaggeration. No, no. Uh, so, dear You're participants. Art. I'm sorry, sir. You have perfected the art of exaggeration. No. <laughs> okay, so participants, you know, importance of statistics in biology cannot be overemphasized, whatever you do. And we as kind of seniors by age have a duty towards the future biologists to, you know, emphasize on this fact that scientific experiments have little meaning or acceptance if they are not seen through the critical lens of you know what is known as statistics mostly uh, though wrongly young researchers they apply statistics when they have already done the experiment uh, that is when they have already collected the data data which is simply some numbers and now when they want to interpret it, they realize that some basic analysis, basic statistical analysis of data has to be done. Many a times, it is even later than that. When a manuscript is submitted for publication, it is a reviewer who points out that, you know, you need to provide statistical support to each and every inference drawn. Because without the statistical support, any conclusion drawn from the experiments is nothing more than a wishful thinking or an inference which can be far removed from the truth. Many a times it is too late by then because the awareness of statistical importance of statistics has to be right from the time of the planning of the experiment, what we call design of the experiment the experimental setup, the minimum number of replications required, what is the hypothesis being tested, what are the precise tests that are required for the question being asked, and to find out actually what you are searching for. I don't want to even say anything because you have had a very, very able person, so I don't think I can add anything more to it, but I can only emphasize that you know nature does not reveal its truth so easily you may have large data you know these are the days of you know big data but data doesn't tell you anything unless you subject it to some procurements only the separate grain from the chaff what actually you are doing by statistics is you are getting rid of the experimental errors you are making your results more reproducible you are removing human biases and also empowering yourself to detect those trends and patterns which are not so obvious, which only, you know, your statistical treatment will be able to reveal. So this is actually, you know, unraveling the secrets of the biological world. Only statistics can help you. And this workshop was the ideal way to introduce the participants to this wonderful world of statistics that actually enables us to do the meaningful research. I'm confident that this workshop was successful in sending this message across the participants and organizers as well as participants were greatly benefited by it. I congratulate and compliment the conveners and organizers for selecting such a wonderful relevant theme which is relevant to any kind of research which is being done and also for successfully executing it. it as Professor Atnam, Dr. Atnam has said, it was a very ambitious project, I must say. 
with these words i place on record my appreciation for uh, principal professor pandita uh, <clears throat> for encouraging the members of my botany fraternity and giving all the required support to organize this event if professor pandita uh, whenever you have an access to her you just convey my message to her that i assure and I feel proud and confident to say that every time she will repose faith on my colleagues from botany she will not be disappointed and in fact you know this is the team which can take this wonderful college to even greater heights my appreciation once again for the botany department my colleagues from botany department of zakusen college for their dynamism for their enthusiasm who are organizing such activities one after other i am watching them i'm really watching them and getting inspired congratulations to all the participants once again uh, of this workshop for successfully completing this uh, event and with this words i once again thank you for giving me this opportunity to be with you though very briefly i wish i could also be a participant in it <laughs> thank you thank you so much everybody thank you professor suman lakhanpal and i just want to add here though it was not my turn to speak uh, it is for my young participants especially for those who are from my own college professor suman lakhanpal is a product of zakir hussain delhi college earlier known as wow. delhi college and we take pride in the fact that she has become head department of botany university of delhi so from zakir hussain you can go to any heights that is the message i just wanted to convey thank you and over to you dr zishan thank you dr atam and thank you professor lakhanpal for your kind words and encouragement so now i request uh, our speakers to if they can share their they can uh, have some words for the participants and for us professor rao oh i uh, i i didn't expect to be asked to uh, say a few words uh, generally i'm not a man of few words so <laughs> sir can you can you switch on your camera now um it's not um, it's a problem seems to be from my side unfortunately i just refuse to turn on okay so uh, for now you have to content with uh, my voice so. is it okay all right sir. all right yes, i am very really sorry about that yeah uh, well mm -hmm. uh, It's a wonderful uh, workshop that has uh, come to a successful completion, um, as uh, Professor uh, Lakan Paul has done. I also must congratulate um, the whole team of Zakir Hussain College, who have successfully conducted this, uh, much to the benefit of uh, hundreds of uh, undergraduate students, who are going to be the the users uh, in the near future because many of them will end up as uh, researchers and they will be totally lost unless they are supported by some sub research uh, oriented statistics now basically uh, i i just recall uh, say i go back to, my memory goes back to about say 40 years ago something like that you know when i joined the zoology department statistics was not held up for practically and there was no college there was no university which was offering a statistics course for biology students or biology phd students of even biology faculty many of them were dismally ignorant of any basic statistics even for a simple thing as a chi square test they would rush to and run to the statistics department and beg them to help with the data you know okay those were the days and now we have come a long way thanks to organizations like zakir hussain college who have been spreading this statistical literacy throughout the country i am so happy so proud that you belong to a delhi university and i also belong to delhi university as a fraternity i feel we are doing some great service to the biology community throughout the country okay um to the participants i just will have a few words 
you all have attended this and hopefully you have benefited greatly from it. Many of them probably went up above your head. It's quite possible. But the essence of all this workshop, the philosophy, the objectives of this workshop is to give you more of an appreciation for the necessity of using statistics in your day to day life and your research. It's not just in your research activities that you tend to use uh, your uh, statistical knowledge, but also if you really want to develop the so-called scientific temper and the rational thinking about what we see, what we observe in nature, natural or man-made, you have to be statistically oriented to see whether what you're observing is actually truth or far from it. Okay, so in your own daily observations or in your research, if you have a hunch, don't trust it. Okay, you don't go by hunches. Okay, you might have some uh, inkling of what to expect or something, but don't make that as a prerequisite for your research. You should go with an open mind and very often you go with some preconceived notions of what kind of results are expected. Don't do that. That's a, a sin that you could uh, commit. Go with an open mind. Let the data suggest possible conclusions, possible hypotheses. Okay? You can propose a hypothesis, but only what is called a neutral hypothesis, that there is no significance. Right? That is the crux of uh, statistical testing. You are assuming that there is no significance. And you go and test. Finally, you find there is a significant result. Then you interpret. Okay. So these are some of the advices I can give you. And also remember, all this statistical knowledge that you have gained, probably uh, very sophisticated techniques and testing procedures you might have learned, you probably will not be able to apply directly. Very often, you resort to uh, pressing a key on your statistical software, which will instantly give you all kinds of results that you wanted to do, which you couldn't have done manually. Okay, so uh, sooner or later, you forget about all the simple methods of calculating even a standard deviation. Okay, uh, leave alone interpreting, uh, say, significance of p value. But probably in the long run, you will say that those were not important. I just learned what is important is that I should be able to look at uh, my data in a, from a statistical viewpoint and statistically test my uh, hypothesis, then only reach some conclusions. Very often, statistical testing only shows that there is a significant difference, say, between control and uh, some tested um, chemical product, whatever it is. But that's only the beginning because it told you that there is a significant difference, right? Why the difference arose is the scientific research that you have to do. You might have to conduct laboratory experiments or field experiments to prove that. So remember, when you prove that there is a statistically significant difference, that's not the end of your work. You have to proceed further and establish the cause and effect relationship. Okay. So these are some points I thought uh, you should remember. And uh, you are the future touch bearers of uh, uh, statistical applications in uh, biology. And uh, I'm so happy that this Dr. Hussein has imparted you to the essence of statistics in a long workshop. Even if you got about 50% benefit from this, I would say the college administration and the workshop organizers have greatly, vastly succeeded. Okay. But it could be 100% uh, also that uh, you have benefited from it. Only time will tell when we start seeing scientifically accepted publications in your name uh, with all the p-values quoted uh, very frequently and all the sophisticated that you have used. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Wattle, for giving me an opportunity. Um, it's always a pleasure 
to come to uh, such workshops and give some um, basic basic uh, talks because i am no expert in statistics and i am under no illusion that i can uh, give any uh, um, lectures on uh, esoteric topics what that is for the experts to do but uh, i am content with uh, giving the basic knowledge to get these things going okay and i hope i succeeded and uh, thank you all um, your, your your wonderful team uh, that uh, you they helped in making this a grand success which i am sure all students participant will 100% agree thank you so much thank you so much professor rao thank you sir uh, now i invite uh, gyan prakash singh who is also a senior uh, uh, speaker of this event. Over to you, Dr. Singh, Professor Singh. Hello. Uh, am, I, am I audible? You are audible, sir. Uh, audible, but not visible. Uh, I think uh, my DP is showing, uh, but the uh, but at my screen, I, I am looking. Okay. Sorry, yes, you are you visible. Are, you are visible. Now we you can are visible. see. Okay. Uh, but what is the problem? Yeah, the whole screen is not visible. Uh, everywhere uh, we are seeing DP with the name. So you are visible. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, I congratulate uh, you all for uh, making uh, such a wonderful theme. And uh, especially the theme of uh, workshop differently. Uh, generally, people do the workshop in online mode or offline mode. But this mode of uh, workshop was uh, um, attracting. Attracting in the sense the student had opportunity to learn anytime. And uh, I was uh, looking some uh, uh, some data of. Uh, watching the channels, uh, how the people are watching the videos. So day by day, it is increasing. So certainly this mode is uh, more beneficial for the students. And uh, some videos uh, I also watched uh, to learn that uh, what I was thinking about and what other resource persons were thinking about the workshop. And no doubt, uh, Every video has its own benefit, own logic. Uh, as a person of statistics, uh, I uh, generally uh, say the uh, people who are using statistics. Uh, we, the people of statistics, are theory-based statisticians. Uh, many of us don't know what is data, uh, what, how the data is analyzed, though we have generated so many theories. So you people uh, who are going to apply the statistical tools are need to be more literate while choosing the statistical tools for data analysis. And uh, especially at uh, the biological field, our biostatistics plays key role in biological fields. More or less techniques are in every field, techniques are more or less similar. Like if you are going in agriculture, agriculture statistics is there. If you are going in um, uh, life sciences, biostatistics is there. If you are going in at, at, uh, this technology parts or engineering sections, then again, mathematical statistics is there. But the tools are same. The different is the application orientation how you are going to apply the things. So the literacy is more important, number one. And generally, uh, the drawback of these softwares is that uh, they are making people more illiterate in terms of statistical knowledge. Because we know the words, we know the standard deviation, we know factor analysis, we know all the statistical terminologies, we are using softwares, you just click, you get the some numbers, then problem arises. 
so this type of workshop helps more for the students as well as researchers and uh, the good thing a uh, good thing was that it was started with basic concept, concepts uh, that is more necessary uh, uh, one thing I I, um, I was not able to see whether there was any uh, video for a measurement scale. Uh, I cannot see the that video. Uh, this video is a very basic, very basic necessity in research field to know type of data, type of measurement, type of variable, because all tools are dependent on those type and uh, different type of variables so if it is not there so i will uh, request the organizers for future they will post on the website or this youtube channel for the benefits of the student uh, if it is already there then uh, it's happy to me so in these words uh, i am going to close because i have a class from 5 pm as i discussed with the sabinder so thanks uh, to the Dr. Hussain College for uh, inviting me uh, for providing two videos. Uh, generally, uh, I'm Hindi speaking and uh, my more videos are Hindi speaking for students because our students also feel more uh, uh, happy in Hindi learning, uh, learning in Hindi. So uh, though I tried, uh, to make my video in English as per the instruction of Savinda. I hope uh, that will be uh, beneficial for the students or uh, researchers. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Professor Singh. Uh, the mode of uh, language was kept English. So to, to uh, gather participants from all across the nation and it will be it will be useful for not only national students but across the world also oh, that, that that was correct that was correct because when i i will uh, deliver a lecture in academic stuff colleges then people say that i am from south india <laughs> please tell in english and then i i mix up and then i come back okay i am not uh, I'm discouraging this language at this time but it, my i my opinion was hindi speaking and i mentioned this one because yes. if you go in my YouTube channel, you will get all lectures in Hindi. And yes, I have seen some Hindi, new videos. Sure. Sir. Okay. And they are really nice. And uh, I can say that you have really good commands on prepa preparing uh, recorded lectures. And thank you for participating in our event. Thank you for your kind words also. And now I request uh, our one more speaker who is present right now. Dr. Som Datta. Dr. Som Datta, would you like to add something? Uh, she's on hold right now. All right. So now we reach to the another section of the event. I invite Dr. Tabasum to propose vote of thanks. Over to you, Dr. Tabasum. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Zishan. And uh, just give me just one minute. Uh, it is indeed my pleasure to propose the vote of thanks for making this five week long national workshop on biostatistical analysis of biological data a success. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to our guest today, Professor Suman Lakhanpal, for taking out time from her busy schedule and come here and motivate us. Thank you, ma'am. I take this opportunity to thank our esteem, all our esteemed resource person who have enriched us with the expertise in their field. Without them, the workshop would not have been a success. Our resource person in this five week long workshop were Dr. Rajeshwari Sundaram, Professor K.S. Rao, Professor T.R. Rao, 
Professor Suman Lakhan Pal, Professor C. V. Srinivas, Professor Gyan Prakash, Dr. K. V. Bhatt, Dr. Dheeraj Kumar, Dr. Shweta Sharma, Dr. Atika Chandra, Dr. Somdatta Sinha Roy, Dr. Swarnendu, Dr. Savender Kumar, Dr. Vineet Kumar, Dr. Julie Thakur, Dr. Shama Prasad Saha, Dr. Sarita Kumari, Dr. Zishanur Rahman, and Dr. Ruchi Veer. I thank each and every resource person for taking their time out getting their efforts in recording the lecture and uh, to make this workshop a success. I thank our principal, Professor Sangeeta Pandita, for her constant support and encouragement. I would also like to thank all the participants for their enthusiastic, disciplined, and lively involvement in the workshop. Without the participants, without the involvement of the participants, any workshop, any conference cannot be a successful, successful event. And lastly, I would thank all the colleagues of Botany Department, Zakir Hussain College for their constant support. There's a humble reminder to the participants to complete the final assessment that will soon follow and that will be there on the Telegram group. The final assessment for the completion certificate is going to take some time, at least four to five weeks. Therefore, you will be able to get the certificate after four to five weeks. Your patience is appreciated. Now I request everyone to stay for the national anthem to officially culminate the workshop. Thank you once again uh, for making this evening a success. Can we have a group photograph, please? I have allowed the camera for everyone. Uh, I before that I would request everyone to please switch on the camera so that we can have a group photograph. Thank you, everyone. Now I would request everyone to please stay for the national anthem to officially culminate the workshop.
Thank you, everyone. And I thank everyone to connect this evening and making this event a success. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you, thank you everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir and ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thanks, okay. everybody. Thanks. Nice. Thank you, sir and ma'am. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us. Well, most welcome. Most welcome. Thank you, Professor Rao. I think he's gone. Professor Rao is left. Thank you, Dr. Suman. Thank you, ma'am. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thanks to the. Okay, ma'am. Team spirit you people have. I mean, it's really wonderful to see all of you doing so well. Ratnam, they Thank are very, you. they are your great fans, Ratnam, I must no, say. No. They're very <laughs> nice people and very hardworking, all of them. Yeah. I to rubber stamp. Hu. Nahi. Nahi hai. I think you are the role model for.